Hey guys, it's Akuma. Here's a quick tutorial on how to encode your awesome fat videos. Now, keep in mind, this isn't the best way to do this, um, but I do think it's good enough for our purposes. Um, you're going to need two things. You're going to need XVID and Virtual Dub. XVID is an encoder or a codec, and Virtual Dub is a video processing utility. Um, so, here's what you do. First, you're going to go to xvid.org, www.xvid.org. And you're going to click right here where it says get the latest version of XFIT codec for your platform. And you're going to go down over here and install it. Okay, so just install the software and be on your merry way. Alright, so now let's just assume that you installed it. I'm going to close this window. And we're going to go get Virtual Dub. So right here, click Downloads. Click Virtual Dev at SourceForge, and you're presented with two options. There's a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. Um, I'm assuming most of you are on 64-bit platforms, um, and maybe some of you might have Intel Core i7 CPUs. Um, if you have that, uh, use a 64-bit version. It will encode a lot faster. Um, but otherwise, you know, you can just use a 32-bit version. It's, it's not like really a big deal. So just go ahead and click one of these guys and go ahead and start the download and here's something that's going to happen you're not going to get a traditional installation type um, pump you're not going to get like a nice graphical UI that you know to install the software um, instead what you're going to get is just a bunch of random files so what you want to do is you want to depending on what program you have installed I have WinRAW installed you might, you might have a different program like Windows Extract or something and just go ahead and extract it somewhere okay I already have it in there but I'm gonna extract it to C backslash VIR alright so now I have the virtual dub software installed or in my system and I have the, the codec installed I'm gonna run this file right here and I'm gonna be presented with this screen now the first thing you want to do is just open the video file. So let's go to our FAPS folder, which, okay, and here's all the files, okay. And this is traditionally what it's going to look like. It's going to look like a bunch of files that are segmented in four gigabyte blocks. Um, the reason why that is is because the, our file system, NTFS or FAT32, the maximum size for a file is four gigabytes. So it's going to break it up like this every time. So all you have to do is open the first one. That's it. So we open the first one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to append AVI segment. And you're going to open up the second one. And then you're going to repeat this process until you have all the files that you want to put in your video. Okay, so now I have put all the files for that block. Okay, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to video. I'm going to make sure it's on full processing mode. I'm going to go to compression. I'm going to go to XFIT codec. I'm going to hit configure. And in this drop down, I'm going to hit MPEG ASP at level 5. I'm going to hit that. And the first thing we want to do is we're going to do two passes. But the first thing you're going to select is first pass. That's it. Okay, so don't forget. Hit the first pass and then hit OK. OK. Now, hit file go down to where it says Q batch operation and then hit save as AVI. Okay, now I'm gonna pick a name. Okay, now nothing happened, right? So that's good, that's a good thing. Now you're gonna repeat this process. You're gonna go back to compression, configure, and now you're gonna do the second pass. Click that, hit okay, hit OK and then go to file again back to Q batch operation save as AVI and we're going to name it our video this is your final name hit save alright now all you got to do is hit F4 on your keyboard or you can go down to where it says where is it I don't know because I always hit F4 there it is job control Go to job control, and you can actually see I have some stuff in here. And you're going to have this right here. You're going to be presented with your job control. And basically, you just hit start. And that's it. Now your files are being encoded. Actually, where is that other? 
and here's your current 2%. This is going to take eternity. So, you know, just go ahead and get some food and you're all set. And when it's done, you'll have a file called Our Cool Video and you can upload that to um, YouTube or whatever. Um, but the whole point is of this is that it's two passes. So it's going to encode the video once and then it's going to encode it again. Um, the reason why we do this is because the quality will be better and it will be a lot smoother. Alright guys, I hope this worked out for you. See you later.